All right, so we just came in the front door. You enter into this kind of nice living room area, I guess. Or maybe a dine, eat-in kind of living room. Looks like we've got basement access. We'll check that out. Then you've got kind of this front, is this a bedroom? Yeah, cool. So this would be like your a front main bedroom. Um, so you can see, oh, the fire department's here. You can see like this is the alley right out here and there's your porch and uh, similar, there's a the front road. Um, so this is one of the bedrooms. This is also a, yeah, it's also a closet. Um, things I'm noticing right off the bat, the floors are kind of uneven. I don't know if you can see that. Um, kind of to be expected with old houses like this. You can kind of see this top thing here is, I don't know if you can see really how crooked that is, but it's slanted down that way, kind of. Really cool kind of architecture feature there. Lighting's nice. Kitchen looks nice. Uh, simple cabinets. Appliances look good. Not soft clothes. Sink's pretty large. Um, small kind of kitchen window, which is unfortunate. You'd think you could do the whole thing here. A little kind of like live edge shelf up there. Back door. Someone stole the air conditioner. See that? The line set's cut. That's interesting. Put a cage around it. Like that's a known thing in these neighborhoods. Um, hmm. Wash your dryer hookup so you don't have to go into the basement. Nice shelving above it. Half bath. Check the basement out. Need to come down here at all. Um, seems okay. Um, doesn't smell particularly musty or anything. Um, the water heater looks okay. Electric looks fairly modern. So, no. Things like this kind of floor joist looks compromised. And I'd want to have an engineer look at that. This floor joist is kind of like crushed here. Um, stuff like that with the stairs. Like they kind of reinforced it a little bit here with this one. But like it's not carrying the load. See like the original floor joist, I don't know if you can see that, is on the, is on the beam, which is your ground support. But then this reinforcement joist here, this new one, one, it's only tacked in with nails. It's not screwed, I think, which is a problem. Oh, no, it's got screws anyway. Um, but not, it's not carrying any load. I can fit my finger underneath here. Um, so it, the lighting's bad. I know. I'm sorry. Um, so, like, I, I would just want to have an engineer come down here and look at that because it looks like kind of a hack job of... Uh, reinforcements. Uh, there's also diagonal cracking here on the center section. It goes up like that um, and some pretty significant kind of like shifting off um, and it comes diagonal from here all the way down if you can see that to here. Um, and there's like a hole in that for some reason so um, I'm not sure if it's the chimney or if that's carrying any of the original load uh, but either way 
I'd want it checked, considering how kind of crooked the floor is upstairs. Just by a structural engineer, because, and it can very well be fixed, you know, or reinforced, because, you know, if, if, this, if the floors are crooked, oh well, you know, the floors are a little crooked, who cares, it's an old house. You just want to make sure they don't continue to get worse, or the building doesn't continue to get worse, you know? So you just want it reinforced where it is, so it doesn't move anymore. Yeah, those stairs are real <laughs> kind of crooked and everything, but it's a straight shot. So one bathroom. Tiling looks okay. Kind of got like a built-in shelf here. Roof looks kind of old too. Yeah. I mean, that's why this thing's still sitting on the market. It looks nice in the pictures, but the quality of the work isn't that great once you get here. It's okay. Like, it's livable. It's nice. And it'd make a great rental eventually. Um, I'm mostly concerned with the structure and then um, getting that AC replaced, obviously and doing it correctly but otherwise and the other thing is you'd have to be okay with one of your bedrooms being down here on the first floor so that's kind of the only other weird thing about it and that's a great house